Ah, the mass fusion containment shed. This place has always held a special uh, position in my heart because there is quite the story of some illegal dumping as well as ghouls and lots of rods. This is where you learn that rods in Fallout 4 can be particularly deadly. Now we want to open that door. First things first, there is a little terminal that you'll have to use. The supervisors. But we have a few things we want to read. After 34 days of being accident free, Lester tripped behind the forklift while it was backing up. Now we're back to zero. Also, corporate made us put up all the remember your hard hat posters. Like that would have saved his life. Obviously Lester uh, didn't make it. The company retreat is coming up in a couple of weeks. Mr. Field said it's mandatory for all employees, especially supervisors. I hate going to those. It's bad enough having to deal with people during the week. Now I have to pretend I like them for a whole weekend? Sometimes I envy Lester. One well, that got run over by the forklift. A hazardous material inspector stopped in today unannounced to check in our operation. I started to feel like he was getting suspicious of what was actually going on here. I told Mr. Field and said, if the inspector started catching on, we needed to get rid of him. And I, he didn't mean to ask him to go away. Well, he caught on, so we had to get rid of him. If anyone finds out what we did, they'll put me away for life. Then you can control the door before hopping on down. Heading in here, there's a little button, which will seal the door up. So if you're getting a little overwhelmed, I suppose that's one way to do it. Moseying on, there's a fusion core for the taking before heading round here. Be sure to bring plenty of rat X, rat away, and a hazmat suit. You'll need it. Then a feral ghoul will crawl out of here. There's also a steamer trunk for the taking. Now you might be wondering, where on earth does this lead to? Well, you see, they were dumping all the radioactive waste into this little pipe that ran to Lake Guanapoa. Lake Guanapoa, of course, was uh, hosting a base hunting tournament a fishing tournament and needless to say there was so much radiation the lake was closed down they couldn't understand where it was coming from it was coming from mass fusion to save money and cut corners this corporation decided dumping was the easiest way making it a front that looked like they were disposing it in some sort of safe manner but that's not just all there's a reactor down below that's currently having a meltdown when you first enter, the sirens will be going. The reactor's having a meltdown. What are we going to do? We're going to pull the circuit breaker and it's going to turn off the automated radio alarm. There's some items for the taking, but other than that, it just encourages you to come over to the facility. The fusion core was upstairs, so it seems that the reactor's down here. It didn't matter all that much. Open the lunchbox and you might just get lucky. A souvenir magnet cap. Nice. Uh, the radio tower is over here, 3SM U81, and it is the one that'll provide the signal for you to find this place. Again, mass fusion containment shed's probably one of the most, a lot of the times the game will point you to this place, you know, through notes, through a few other methods, so always be sure to visit. But that's not all. There is something on the roof, a certain Blade Runner reference that movie lovers will no doubt have a field day with. If we bypass all the ghouls and go back up to the lobby area here, you can find it seems quite nice and quaint. Let's open the door here and exit on out. Also, there's a wicked shipping fleet truck, so if you've got the key from the lockup, which you should have, you can unlock it and get yourself another steam trunk full of goodies. Hop up the pipe here, might take a bit of fiddling about, up here, and onto the roof. Here you'll find not only a synth, with usually a pretty nice laser pistol, but a raider, apparently in a reference to Blade Runner 2044, so uh, if you know that part of the movie, then I'm sure you'll enjoy the reference. Hopping across now, we can find a little unmarked location in the form of either... I've seen traders since there's quite a number of things you can find here so when you're in the area pay a visit and you never know you might get really lucky as for this particular house be careful uh, it has a bit of a jump scare and if you go over to this little monkey here and you have a look usually a rad scorpion makes its presence known so again be awfully careful when you're in the area thank you so much for watching see you all in the next one